This tutorial explains how to break the axis of a plot in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data objects that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that two new vector objects are appearing, which are called X and Y. And both of these data objects are ranging from 1 to 100. So if we want to draw these data in a regular plot using base R, then we can apply the plot function as you can see in line 5 of the code. And in this function, I'm specifying the names of our two vector objects, X and Y. So if you run line 5 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of our studio that a new plot is appearing, which is showing a scatter plot. And as you can see, both of our vector objects X and Y are ranging from 1 to 100. Now let's assume that we want to add a break to the axis of our plot. Then we have to install and load the Plotrix package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8 of the code. I have installed this package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 8. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the Plotrix package, such as gap.plot, as you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code. And within this function, we need to specify the two vector objects that we want to draw, so in this case x and y. And then we need to specify between which axis locations we want to insert a break. So in this case, I'm using the values 10 and 50. So if you run lines 10 and 11 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And as you can see, this time we have inserted a break on the y-axis because we have removed all the data points on the y-axis between the limits 10 and 50. Similar to that, we can also insert a break on the x-axis, as you can see in lines 13 to 15 of the code. So in lines 13 and 14, I'm using the same syntax as in the previous example. However, this time I'm also specifying the gap.axis argument to be equal to x. So if you run lines 13 to 15 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And this time we have inserted a break at the x-axis between the positions 10 and 50. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.